okay is it the screen is visible to all yes sir okay so in the last lecture uh, on yesterday we seen that one two definitions linear combination and linear span what is linear span okay let s yes, be a non empty subset of a vector space v over f then the linear span of s yes, is defined as the set of all the linear combination of finite subset of the elements of s and it is denoted by l of s what is l of s l of s set is equal to u such that u is in the form of that is u is equal to summation i ai into ui where ui all the uis are the elements of the set this uh, element of the set uh, belongs to s and ai belongs to f okay so this is the linear span and also we seen some uh, examples okay if s is equal to 100010001 that is u1 u2 u3 then what is l of s l of s is equal to whole vector space r3 over r okay now today we will see what is the linear dependence of a vector and what is linear independence of vectors okay when we say that the two the vectors are dependent or independent okay now look at here the definition linear dependence of vectors hmm. linear dependence of vectors linear dependence of vectors hmm. look at here definition a set containing the vectors a set containing hmm, a set containing the vectors hmm, which vectors suppose a set contain these vectors u1 u2 u3 up to so on suppose u r okay finite set of vectors d find d find over a field over a field capital f okay these are the vectors d find over the field capital f is said to be is said to be linearly dependent okay this all the sets are said to be linearly dependent if there exist hmm, scalars okay there exist a scalars a1 a2 a3 up to so on ar these are the elements belongs to the field that is the scalars not all zero okay not all zero at least one of them must be a non zero either a1 is not zero a2 is not zero or i don't know but all not all the zero scalars from the set of field okay this is the field okay it's said to be linearly dependent if there exists a scalar a1 a2 up to so on ar belongs to f such a that hmm, such a that a1 u1 plus a2 u2 plus up to so on ar ur is equal to 0 okay hmm. what is the meaning of this sentence if you write the linear combination of u1 u2 u3 up to so on ur okay that is a1 a1 plus a2 u2 plus up to so on ar ur okay this is the linear combination of what all the vector if you equate this linear combination is equal to 0 so we get at least one of ai 
is non zero that is not all zero what is the meaning of not all zero at least one of them is not zero okay if you can write this one a1 u1 plus a2 u2 plus up to so on a r u r is equal to zero and at least one of them the scalar a1 a2 is not zero then that set u1 u2 u3 up to so on u r are linearly in uh, sorry linearly dependent vectors okay yacha sabte kai linearly dependent vectors manje linear dependence of vector one vector is dependent on other okay that is suppose look at here and what is here this is a1 u1 plus a2 u2 okay this expression we can write in this form plus up to so on this one suppose a r minus 1 h r digit term kaise a r minus 1 into u r minus 1 is equal to and take this term towards the right hand side this is a r into u r okay minus a r into u r so this implies this is the multiplication now take this minus a r towards the left side so what we get here a1 upon minus a1 upon a r into u1 plus a2 okay upon minus a r into u2 plus up to so on what we get here hmm a r minus 1 okay minus a r into u r minus 1 is equal to what u r <coughs> okay now look at here so this implies what we get u r is equal to minus a1 a r into u1 okay this plus minus minus a2 a r into u2 minus up to so on this plus minus minus again a r minus 1 divided by a r into u r minus 1 is equal to u r now what is the meaning of linearly dependent vector hmm one vector ha u r this is the u r vector dependent on u1 u2 up to so on u r minus 1 this is the meaning of linearly dependent linear dependence of a vector okay got it any doubt up to here hello am i audible yes sir yeah so here the u r is the dependent on u1 u2 up to so on u r minus 1 okay ha definition itki che pan ithe tumhala samajnyasathi sangitle pan sir okay this is the not the part of definition so what is the linearly dependent vector linear the dependence of a vector a set containing the vector u1 u2 u3 up to so on u r eka set madhe itke vector hai u1 u2 up to u r defined over the field f is said to be linear dependent if there exists a scalar a1 a2 a3 up to so on a r not all zero so here a r is not equal to what zero the not equal to zero asel tar das apan kay karu shakto divide karu shakto it okay if a r is not equal to zero okay so here a1 a2 up to so on a r belongs to f not all zero such that if the linear combination of the linear combination is equal to zero okay so this is the definition of linearly linear dependence of a vector look at the example examples example number 1 now let u1 is the vector all the triplet 3 1 minus 4 okay u2 is equal to what we get u2 2 2 minus 3 and u3 is equal to 0 minus 4 1 okay, these are the three vectors are there now show that show that 
these vectors these vectors are linearly dependent okay that is we have to show that a1 into u1 plus a2 into u2 plus a3 into u3 is equal to 0 then that, that implies at least one of the scalar is not equal to 0 okay then we can say that these are the three vectors u1 u2 and u3 are linearly dependent vector now let us assume let us suppose let us suppose a1 u1 plus a2 u2 plus a3 u3 is equal to 0 give the equation star okay what is a1 into u1 hmm. a1 into u1 plus wait a minute Hmm. A1. What is U1? 3, 1, minus 4. Plus, what is A2? Into, what is U2? 2, 2, minus 3. Okay. Plus, A3 into, what is A3? 0, minus 4, 1, which is equal to 0. Okay. Now, uh, multiply this A1 to the inside the bracket. So, this is 3A1 a1 and minus 4 a1 okay okay is it correct yes now plus 2a2 2a2 minus 3a2 plus now 0 into a3 is 0 minus 4 a3 Okay, and 1 into a3 is a3, which is equal to 0. Okay, now do the multiplication of these vectors. 3a plus 2a. Hmm. What is 0 vector? 0 vector is 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, if r3 over r is the vector space, what is the 0 vector from r3? 0, 0, 0. Okay, now this implies 3a1. So, hmm. 3 a1 plus this one is first coordinate 2 a2 plus 0 which is equal to 0 this we get first equation okay now similarly here a1 plus 2 a2 minus 4 a3 which is equal to 0 compared to this one now okay similarly we get minus 4 a1 okay this one minus 3a2 plus a3 which is equal to 0 okay so here we get three equation and three unknowns which three unknowns a1 a2 a3 now from these three equation you have to find the value of a1 a2 and a3 if a1 a2 a3 one of them is not equal to 0 then we can say that three vectors are linearly dependent. Okay. Now, how to solve this one? Hmm. How we are going to solve this one? Kasa solve down, solve down, equation. This implies. Look at here. 3a1 plus 2a2 is equal to 0. This is the first equation. Second equation. a1 plus 2a2 minus 4 a3 okay a3 is equal to 0 third equation minus 4 a1 minus 3 a2 plus a3 is equal to 0 here okay suppose this is 1 this is 2 and this one is third okay now solving 2 and 3 which one solving equation 2 and third we get what we get a1 is equal to how we are going to solve this one 
multiply this equation 2 by 4. Okay, what we get? 4a1 plus 8a2. Ooh, 4 for the 16a3 is equal to 0. And this one is minus 4a1 minus 3a2 plus a3, which is equal to 0. Now, if you do addition of this one, so this get cancelled. 8a2 minus 3a2. What did we get? 5a2. This one is minus 17a3, which is equal to 0. Okay. Hmm. Wait a minute. Now, how we are going to solve this one? Hmm. By cramming screw. Okay. Now, by solving 1 and 3. Solving equation 1 and 3. What we get? What is? Hmm. This is the 1 and 2 solve curve. 1 and 2. What is equation 1? 3a1 plus 2a2 is equal to 0. And what is equation 2? a1. So multiply here by 3. So what we get? 3a1 plus 6 a2 minus 3 for the 12 a3 which is equal to 0. Okay. Do the minus. Negative. Okay. Negative sign. Subtract from equation 1 and this one. So this is minus. This is plus. So this get cancelled. 2a2 minus 6a2 is what? Minus 4 a2. So this is plus 12 a3 which is equal to 0. Okay, now give it is an equation number 4 and this one is equation number 5. Now look at here, equation 4 and 5 is in the form of a2, a2, a3, a2, a3. Okay, now how we are going to solve this one? Multiply this equation by 4 and multiply this equation by 5 and do the addition. Now solving equation 4 and 5. Okay, we have to find the value of a1, a2, a3. Hmm. Multiply this equation by 4. So we get 20 a2, 17 for the hmm, 68 a3, okay, which is equal to 0. And multiply this by 5, minus 5, uh, minus 20 a2 plus 60 a3, which is equal to 0. Hmm. If you do addition, this get cancelled. 60 minus 68. So here, minus 8, A3 is equal to 0. Wait a minute. It is a bit. Okay, wait a minute. Minus 8, 8, 8, 60 minus 60. Okay. Hey, me solve kudun de da kyun kase kare. Okay. How to solve this one? Here, yeah. if you solve these three equations, one, two, three, we get the value of a one is equal to minus two, a two is equal to three, and a three is equal to one. Okay, how this equation be solved, I will tell tomorrow. Okay, so here a1 is equal to minus 2, a2 is equal to 3, and a3 is equal to 1. So here, not all ai's are 0. Okay, hence, we get u1, u2, 
and u3 are linearly dependent okay any doubt hmm hey equation kasa solve kele mi udya sangen okay now the next definition is linearly independent what is linearly independent vectors the next definition is linear independence okay look at it linear independence vector definition if any set containing the vectors any set containing the vectors u1 u2 u3 the vectors u1 u2 and u3 suppose these are the three vectors and up to so on u r okay defined defined okay instead of and okay this one u1 u2 u3 up to so on u r defined over the field defined over the field f capital f okay is said to be it's said to be linearly independent in dependent that is l i okay linearly independent in the sense of the ld so if it is not dependent is not dependent okay what is the meaning of not dependent that is if every equation every equation of the form every equation of the form a1 u1 plus a2 u2 plus up to so on a r u r is equal to 0 where all the a1 a2 up to so on a r these are the elements hmm, of the these are the scalars okay these are the elements of f implies a i is is r equal to 0 for all i okay such that for all i we are such that this i running from 1 to r okay when we are going to say that the vectors are linearly independent if the linear if we assume that the linear combination is equal to 0 if all the scalars a1 a2 up to ar must be zero okay then we can say that this these are the vectors are linearly independent okay any doubt hmm any doubt up here for example look at this an example Uh, a is equal to 1 0 sorry u is equal to suppose u1 is equal to 1 0 and suppose the u2 is equal to 0 1 this is the vector from the set r2 over r okay ordered pair okay now you take a1 u1 plus a2 u2 is equal to 0 okay as you the linear combination of that two vectors a1 u1 plus a2 a2 is equal to 0 so this implies what a1 into u1 u1 is what 1 0 plus what is u2 so here zero vector is what 0 0 0 means hmm. what is a2 a2 into 0 1 is equal to 0 0 so this implies here a1 0 plus 
a2 is equal to 0 0 so this implies a1 a2 a1 plus 0 a1 0 plus a2 0 so here a1 a2 is equal to what 0 0 so by a1 a2 0 0 this implies and implied a1 is equal to 0 and a2 is equal to 0 okay so all the scalars belongs to the field f must be 0 hence u1 is equal to 1 0 and u2 is equal to 0 1 are linearly independent okay these are the two vectors are linearly independent any doubt up to here no sir okay now we know that what is the linear combination hmm. once again look at the linear combination definition of linear combination any vector okay before going to the next point some remarks are there okay or some notes are there what are the remarks first one any two vector the donor vector as the any two vector suppose that two vector u and v are linearly dependent dependent if one of them is scalar multiple of other scalar multiple of other what is the meaning of sentence suppose u is equal to 2 3 and v is equal to 4 and 6 here hmm, v is equal to what 2 into u okay that is what is u v 4 6 what here the 2 hmm, scalar multiple one you have v kai tumcha scalar multiple of u what is u 2 and 3 which is equal to what 4 and 6 hence what we get v is scalar multiple of u hence u and v are what dependent don vector kadi dependent asti one is scalar multiple of other it pahila nantar as kare here the u is the two times then v okay u is the vector is the two times of sorry v is the vector is the two times of u okay if you multiply this vector by two then we get the v so here the u and v are the scalar multiple of each other then v is scalar multiple of u hence u and v are dependent doni ek mekanot ke shape dependent hai okay any doubt so this is the first remark now the second remark what is second remark the empty set phi the empty set phi the empty set phi okay it's defined as defined as linearly independent set okay phi kasa sel tumcha set madhe ekahi vector nahi hai then we defined as this set is linearly independent. Yeah, set with the members, okay, vectors. Okay, so always remember that the empty set is a linearly independent set. Okay, these are the two marks, uh, two remarks. Okay, and third one any 
single ton set single ton set okay single ton set means what the set consisting only one element is the single ton set okay is single ton set is always independent wait a minute the single ton set is always independent okay when if hmm, the element is non zero okay if the single ton set containing non zero element so the element non zero cell that set is always independent okay this is the third remark hmm. and the fourth one the set containing the set containing zero vector is linearly dependent what is the meaning of this sentence if suppose a is the set containing u1 u2 i don't know whether this are this dependent or independent okay up to u1 i don't know this one is the dependent or independent if this set containing zero vector then a is the this all the vectors are what linearly dependent okay the set containing zero vector is always always okay always linearly dependent set okay any doubt up to here hmm bola kahi tari any doubt up to here remark first can you explain again okay what is the remark first remark any two vectors u and v are linearly dependent if one of them is scalar multiple of other okay here look at u is 2 and 3 okay what is hmm. u is what 2 and 3 what is v 4 and 6 here v is equal to what we get v is equal to 2 into u if you multiply 2 that is the scalar okay to the vector u what we get 2 into 2 4 2 into 3 6 so here v is the scalar multiple of u that is v is equal to 2 into u okay then we get u and v are always linearly dependent okay if you take by the definition if you look by the definition what we have our definition says a1 into u1 plus a2 into u2 is equal to 0 if we assume this one if whether the one of them coefficient that is one of them scalar is non zero then u1 and u2 is what linearly dependent so here what is u1 2 3 a2 what is u2 4 6 which is equal to what 0 0 okay in order to pair 0 is the zero zero vector 0 0 is the zero vector okay so then what i can write in place of a1 and a2 if i write a1 is equal to 1 sorry a1 is equal to mm, minus 2 and a2 is equal to 1 is this equation holds look at here hmm. minus 2 into 2 and 3 what we get minus 4 and Minus six. Okay, is it correct? Plus in a two is one. So what we get here? Four and six. Hmm, what is the answer of this one? Minus four plus four zero. Minus six plus six zero. Okay, is it correct? So here a one is what non zero. A two is also non zero. Okay. So here the definition of linearly dependent is satisfied. So these are the two vectors are what. linearly 
dependent if one of them scalar multiple is of other then the two vectors are linearly dependent okay now any doubt no sir okay now we seen that uh, yesterday what is the definition of linear combination what is the definition of linear combination once again look at here linear combination any vector any vector u expressible any vector u is expressible in the form in the form u is equal to a1 u1 plus a2 u2 plus up to so on a r u r it's called it's called a linear combination of vectors linear combination of vectors u1 u2 up to so on u r okay it's called it's called linear combination okay all right it's called the linear combination of vectors of u1 u2 up to so on u r where what are the scalars where hmm a1 a2 up to so on a r these are the elements from the field f okay what scalars scalars okay not all zero okay so gray zero na sai la hawe jar zero asel tar kay hoil tumcha u is equal to zero e if a1 a2 all are zero a r okay then we get u is equal to zero into u1 zero a2 into zero sorry 0 into u2 0 0 into u r 0 so u we get 0 if all are 0 so here we get not all 0 okay so this is the definition of what linear combination now one statement is there one corollary is there what is that color corollary look at here wait a minute hmm What is the corollary says? Let the vectors, let the vectors u1, u2, up to so on, u r, are linearly dependent. Okay, let. the vectors u1 u2 up to so on are linearly dependent then one of these vectors one of these vectors hmm it's a linear combination of linear combination of the remaining vectors hmm what says the corollary if u1 u2 up to so on u r are the linearly dependent vectors then one of them is the linear combination of other okay tatla ekada vector ha baki cha sam madhe apan linear combination madhe liu shakto okay now look at the proof hmm what is the proof for the dependence of vectors suppose for the linear dependence for the linear dependence of the vector we assume what we assume a1 u1 plus a2 u2 plus up to so on a r u r is equal to 0 Hmm. What what uh, what the definition of linearly dependent says? 
where a1 a2 up to so on ar are scalars not all zero okay is it correct not all zero okay suppose one of them is not equal to zero let the a1 is not equal to zero let take okay wait a minute let take this a1 is not equal to zero okay which one this a1 is not equal to zero not all zero is. okay konta hi sagle cha sagle je scale of sahite not equal to zero okay for our convenience say let this a1 is not equal to zero so what we get a1 into u1 is equal to minus sign take this equation to the right side okay so this is a2 u2 plus a3 u3 plus up to so on ar you are with negative sign okay if a1 is not equal to 0 this implies we can divide throughout the equation by a1 so this is u1 is equal to minus a2 a1 into u2 plus a3 a1 into u3 plus up to so on what we get a r a1 into u r okay so this proves that what this proves this proves that hmm u1 this vector is linear combination of linear combination of u2 u3 up to so on u r hence the proof any doubt up to here hmm any doubts no, okay no, so what we proved here if the vectors are linearly dependent if the vectors are linearly dependent then one of them is linear combination of remaining other vectors okay any doubt up to here okay so for the today it is sufficient now and the remaining part